Hi, welcome to our session on driving business transformation in retail using AI. I'm Carrie Tharp, and I lead up retail for Google Cloud. I'm excited to be here today to chat a little bit about the state of AI in retail and how Google Cloud is helping implement AI in businesses like yours. We'll also share a little bit about our solutions and then share some best practices. When you think about what's going on in retail today, the landscape is certainly changing. The pace of change is accelerating and COVID-19 has certainly thrown a wrench in many plans. What's more important than ever is the use of data in your business to help unlock value, whether that's changing customer experiences or improving operational performance. When you think about AI and ML in your business, it's a crucial component to the future of retail strategies. And choices that you may be making today on your platforms and capabilities can be a big part of your performance tomorrow. We're very passionate about driving the adoption of AI and ML in retail. Research shows that there's certainly value to using AI and ML in your business. It can help you make more data-driven decisions, five times faster decision-making, and three times faster to execution. However, AI is really still seen in its hype cycle for retail. We did some recent research in the specialty and department store space and found that 60% of retailers had 20 or more pilots in progress. But when you double clicked on that, only 45% of those pilots had been transitioned to full implementation in production. And then looking at those that had been implemented, retailers only thought 40% of them represented the high value use cases. So it's great to have a mix of potentially low-hanging fruit opportunities, but there's also still a big opportunity to go after where the biggest value in retail is. So what's holding people back? In our discussions, we find that data availability continues to be an issue. This really covers a whole host of problems. Everything from data being siloed and not being able to get at all the different combinations of customer transaction product and supply chain data, to having issues with data tagging and data modeling. Second is technical talent. Do you have enough resources on your team from a technology standpoint or the data and analytics team to really go after a lot of these more complicated use cases that take more preparation of the data and a deeper understanding of the business? Last is financial constraints. So we all have kind of scarce resources when we think about the capital and expense we're able to deploy in our businesses. And so do you have the right amount of resources to go after the opportunities that you see ahead of you as a team? With all the challenges of implementing AI in retail, it's more important than ever to focus and prioritize. We've done research to understand where the value is locked up in retail and have found that the top 10 to 15 use cases is actually where most of the value lies out of hundreds of use cases you could potentially be thinking about working on. Whether it's in food, drug and mass or specialty and department store, you'll see on this list that there's a couple of key themes around inventory, customer experience and store operations. Google can join you in these conversations of prioritization to help you understand what might be the best opportunities for you to go after short term and in the longer term. How Google can help from an AI perspective is in three key buckets. First, we're building industry specific solutions that are pre built and ready made to help accelerate your digital transformation. An example would be vision product search. You can plug in this API and allow your customers to take pictures of product and automatically find it within your catalog. Second is using the building blocks that we've already established. One of the examples here is dialogue flow. Rather than trying to take on natural language understanding to create customer care chatbots or voice interaction with your customers, you can use dialogue flow as a jumpstart to creating those experiences. And third is then just using our platform to custom build yourself. There's a variety of use cases that you may feel are very specific to your business or don't leverage components that already exist. When we think about these pre-built solutions, we're focused in three key areas. 
First is helping drive digital and omni-channel growth. So this is think of everything that's a part of driving digital experience and your e-commerce business. Second is helping you become a data-centric, customer-driven retailer. This is all of the data platforms and AI and ML that's needed to help you drive new personalization, customized experiences, and understand your product and inventory data better. Third is operational performance improvement. So this is helping you unlock operational value inside the P&L, whether it's store operations or reducing your costs in your infrastructure. First, let's talk a little bit more about driving digital and omni-channel revenue growth. One of the key priorities here is helping evolve product discovery. When you think about e-commerce today, it's based on very rigid structures from site nav to using a search text box. And customer shopping journey looks very different than that. So we've been focused on providing solutions that help you evolve that customer interaction. All retailers are dealing with several key trends. So first is the changing dynamics in shopping visits. So COVID-19 has changed how much retailers uh, have customers visiting their stores, how big their basket size is when they visit. And so it's become more important than ever to provide new digital discovery experiences. Second, this environment has certainly made customer experience a big priority, making sure that your customer has all of their expectations met, whether or not they can interact with an associate has become critical. And then personalization. This has been a theme in retail for years, but it's now very important to make sure you're putting the right product in front of a customer wherever their journey may be taking place. Our offerings are focused on reducing friction for shoppers. First is vision product search. This is the capability that I mentioned that allows you to use visual images to search your catalog. So think of a grocery store customer, instead of building their list by writing it down or searching for it on your app, they could simply take pictures and preload their shopping list. Next is recommendations AI. This is focused on providing the best personalized recommendations for your shoppers with a broad understanding of their journey. And last is search for retail. This is bringing the power of Google search directly to your e-commerce websites. When we think about recommendations, Google Cloud brings best-in-class recommendations based on our experience in building recommendations as a foundation for several of our products that are serving billions of users worldwide. Recommendations AI works in three key steps. First, you seamlessly integrate your catalog and user events data with Recommendations AI through many of the tools you're already using, like Merchant Center, Google Tag Manager, Google Analytics 360, Google Cloud Storage and BigQuery, as well as other data sources, in most cases, without having to write any code. Once your data is in, with a few clicks, you can choose your model type, define your objective, and begin training your model. In three to seven days, the initial model training and tuning will conclude, and you'll see a visual indicator in the dashboard that the model is ready to query. You can then begin serving recommendations to your customers. You can now also visually preview the recommendations being generated by the model before you serve them in production to make sure that your setup has been satisfactory. The recommendations are then constantly improving and optimizing with daily AI model refreshes. Sephora is a customer that's using our recommendations AI. Beauty is certainly a space that recommendations can be very important to that purchase journey. And they've seen an increase in both their click-through rates as well as their conversion. Next, let's talk a little bit about being a customer-centric data-driven retailer. How can you use data to effectively predict customer needs and what your demand might look like? Demand forecasting is an example of an area that is critical to retail. All of retailers belabor their forecast, trying to make sure that they don't miss out on revenue opportunities, but also make sure that they don't have excess products sitting around. This is a product that we have that's in our early access program. We took on this space because demand forecasting is still a challenge for many retailers today. Retailers often have trouble integrating new signals and insights into their forecast. 
They're often based on static views of what happened last year and maybe some more advanced statistical modeling, but most retailers see that there's more opportunity in their forecasts versus where they're sitting today. There's also challenges understanding new products and new categories, not having enough information to really understand what the demand for that product could be. Maybe making those decisions based on intuition, gut, or similar product performance. And then last, many forecasting models don't really understand local demand impact of things like weather, consumer behavior, and even now, shelter-in-place orders. Our Google demand forecasting leverages our best-in-class AI and ML and data sets from across Google. It's designed to integrate with your current systems and does not require a rip and replace of platforms that your merchants and planners may be using today. Explainable AI then helps you better post-forecast review where you're getting performance and what's really a signal inside your forecast. As of today, we've developed ML algorithms for demand forecasting that are driving more accurate forecasts for customers. The solution allows retailers to model future demand for both long horizon order planning as well as short horizon use cases to feed into allocation, replenishment, and planning systems. We are now building out the end-to-end solution and partnering with a handful of retailers in the early access program to take the solution from development to launch. In addition to this productized solution, we are also working with retailers who are investing in their own efforts in this space using our AI and ML platform offerings. And finally, we also work with an ecosystem of partners in this space, system integrators like Accenture and Deloitte and ISVs like O9, who can help you get results quickly and realize value from your data with integrated and out of the box solutions. One example of a retailer that we're working with in this space is Carrefour, one of the largest grocery retailers in France. We've partnered with them across a variety of facets of their business, but one very exciting area is they've stood up an artificial intelligence lab in Paris. This is a place that their Carrefour engineers partner closely with our Google AI expert to work on solutions like optimizing their product assortment. It's very important, as you guys know, to have a deep understanding of what's most relevant at an individual store location. And so using our recommendations and AI capabilities to understand that assortment tailored to the local store level has been a great value to Carrefour. Next, let's talk a little bit about driving operational excellence, providing the best in class customer care and support through your call centers and chats has always been important, but has become ever more important in the times of COVID-19 as call centers have been overwhelmed with all sorts of questions from, do you have certain inventory in stock and what are your special shopping hours? Like all organizations, retailers are facing a revolution in customer care. 33% of retail customers will consider switching to a different retailer if they've had a bad experience. And estimates show that over the next several years, AI will be a, a large component of providing service to customers in call centers. So it's important to be thinking about how you can leverage artificial intelligence and make impact in your business. Google Cloud's Context Center AI solution is built for this new world. Based around a conversational core that understands human interaction and incorporates the context. At its core, this virtual agent AI handles incoming calls or messages and engages in natural human-like dialogue to handle common use cases and flows, including having to go off script. When the call can't be handled automatically, it's passed to a human agent, and the agent assist AI steps in to support with the relevant content from the knowledge base in context about the user and their situation. The insights AI then surfaces trends and analysis to help the entire system improve. For retailers, the fact that it's centralized means you can apply consistent intelligence across every application in the customer journey. The biggest cost savings can often be found from deflecting voice calls into your contact center. 
But there's been challenges in the past because conversations can meander and IVR trees may not be able to adapt. The inability to flex to human conversation style has also historically limited the ability to assist agents in real time. Context Center AI has the ability to go off script so you can work outside the predefined flow, answering complex questions full of unexpected stops and starts, word choices, or implied meanings. Context Center AI also has the ability to handle multiple use cases for your customers, like taking a payment, updating information like a phone number, giving them information about store hours, which then allows you to fully automate routine tasks and further deflect calls. You can start with an easy use case and grow your adoption depending on your organization's needs. During COVID-19, for example, many retailers were faced with a deluge of customer inquiries specific to store timing and special hours. Our team offered up a rapid response virtual agent that could be set up in days and take the volume of calls off your busy agents, and most importantly, make sure that customers felt supported through this period of heightened anxiety. Marks & Spencer is one of the customers we've worked with in the Contact Center AI space. They work with our partner Develop to leverage dialogue flow to help manage their contact center interactions. Marks & Spencer is one of the best beloved retail brands in the UK with over 30 million loyal customers, and they had switchboards in 13 different store locations across their store footprint, and they were taking 9 million calls a year. You can imagine that's a lot to understand the different things that customers may be calling about specific to that store, but also broader questions that can be answered more effectively. Using Dialogflow, they were able to reduce that call volume to the stores by 50% and route more than 7 million calls into the centralized call center. Now that we've talked more about our solutions and some of the challenges that retailers have using AI and ML in their business, I'd like to share a little bit about some of the best practices we see across all the customers we're working with. First is understanding your data first strategy, making sure you're thinking about your data in a holistic platform-based approach that really expands to meet all the needs you have going forward. Unlocking those data silos and bringing together the product, transaction, customer, and supply chain data. Second is AI is truly a team sport. Getting the value out of AI can often sit at the intersection between several different stakeholders in retail. Whether it's the merchants, the planners, or the marketers, they may have a very different view of where value sits and how your brand should really take on using AI. Your CEO is often your top advocate to help bring the adoption of AI and ML in the business. Third is thinking about how you can test for scale. So given there's so many different use cases you could go after, it's a best practice to use proof of concepts to prove the value to your leadership team and then get kind of resources and more attention to move forward with more use cases going forward. It can give executives and your stakeholders a firm sense of what type of value they can expect and how they can be interacting with data to drive value. And then last is going mainstream. So thinking about how you can better expose data and insights to all of the users within your organization. Thinking about tools like Looker to help visualize and help people understand what the data might be telling them. This will speed your rate of change and bring people along the journey much faster. This is kind of taking data out of the rearview mirror and putting it into something that directs the future of your organization. So now that we've talked about solutions, best practices, I'm excited to see what you can do to drive the adoption of AI and ML in your business. We have a variety of resources available if you're interested in learning more about each of these solutions, customer reference examples to go a little bit deeper, as well as partners that can help you on your journey. I'm excited for what comes ahead in retail. Data is at the center of all digital transformations, and there's great things to come.